You tell us how much you want, how long you want it for. Short-term cash at high interest rates. Wonga and other payday loan firms have been accused of leading people into debt. But now the company has met its most unlikely, most eminent opponent. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, is waging a war on Wonga. The former financier says he recently told the boss of the lender how he'd like to see it close. He says, I said to him quite bluntly that we're not in the business of trying to legislate you out of existence. We're trying to compete you out of existence. Today, a member of the Archbishop's staff told me why Wonga is a worthy target. Is Wonga immoral, do you think? Wonga's... Um following a business plan that works for Wonga and the reason it's causing problems in hard pressed areas with people who are in poverty is that they don't have any alternatives. The mainstream financial sector doesn't serve people who want small short term loans. Wonga does but at phenomenal interest rates. Archbishop Welby's idea is to give people greater access to credit unions. He launched this one for clergy and church staff earlier this month. Credit unions are small, non-profit financial organisations which charge their members low rates of interest to borrow money. In the UK, there's currently around 450 of them. The Church of England won't run the new unions, though, but will offer expertise and give organisers access to church buildings. No one from Wonga would speak on camera to Five News, but it told us it welcomes alternatives to solving people's financial challenges. To take on the entire industry, the government recently announced they'll invest £38 million in credit unions. And the business secretary says he's backing Archbishop Welby. I think this particular case absolutely spot on. We've got uh, an area of lending where there's a lot of abuse taking place, uh, a lot of people suffering as a consequence of it, and we've got to have a better alternative. And in providing that alternative, this former oil executive has shown he's not afraid of taking on the moneylenders. Julian Drucker, Five News.